up the ash. Yeah, ho, we tapping and passing like magic. No, we not asking, we see it, we grab it. Diamonds, they flash and go blind when I'm passing. Mask on, I'm clapping, no mask on assassin. Jugging, we snatching all black is the fashion. We not the same, bro, just look at the fabric. Hey, what's good, everybody? It's your boy Kama. We back with another video, man. Hey, man, real quick, right? So, news came in today. Um, Zach Hurts cleared for the Monday Night Showdown off the COVID list with the, with the Dallas Cowboys. Um, Keanu Neal, however, who was in the same situation, him and um, Bradley and I will miss the game due to the COVID list. Um, what does it change? Um, realistically, I don't think it changes the game plan, right? Because so far what the Eagles has shown us is uh, um, even with him and Dallas Goddard, like they're not, they, they, they run, basically they run a lot of 11 personnel, you know what I mean? So, so they've been getting into a lot of 11 personnel stuff, not, not as much double, too tight and things as they used to run. So that's gonna be something different. But i say either way, where if I was concerned at all about anything in this game, if I had any concern, it would have been, of course, the depth of our defensive line because I feel like we took a major blow in the defensive line missing D Law Gallimore. D Law and Gallimore and now Bradley and I and Darn Armstrong. So that would be that would have been my initial concern. But as far as as far as um as far as our linebackers like you I know Mr. Keno Neal um, it's a blow. But as far as the linebackers, I'm kind of comfortable with that matchup. I'm comfortable with the way D-Law, I mean, not D-Law, with the way um, Jalen Smith was playing, what, I'm, what I've seen from Van Der Esch. Even knowing that we have a Jabril Cox, who's his specialty, he's a cover linebacker. Even knowing that we have him, it, like, relaxes me a little bit to things like he played well in preseason though so um i'm fine with that the back end i'm fine with the matchups as you like I'm, I'm willing to live and die with the matchups in the back end um i think the game will be one of the trenches and i think the same thing for the eagles as well like with with, with the news breaking that they're starting left tackle that they just paid joe and my lot and not going to be available so for them they're going, it's going. It's leaving a lot. It's a lot of question marks for them. The guy he beat out, Andre Diller, has to start. Landon Dickerson is has to step in and contribute right away. And he didn't have the greatest NFL debut last week. He struggled as well. So, I mean, the trenches are beat up D line versus their beat up O line. I think it's going to be the story of the game. Um, them missing. Them missing um, Brandon Graham is going to be a big blow. Cause Brandon Graham always he gives. I mean, he always hurts the Cowboys. He's a good player. So, like I said, man, I'm excited, man. We don't play tomorrow, but tomorrow Sunday, Sunday football will be on regardless. Um, I will be live streaming for the first time live streaming the game this Monday night. So, you know what I mean, if you're available, tune into that. It's gonna be fun, man. But that's just my quick thoughts. On the way to work, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Or remember, like and subscribe. It's your boy Combo. Salute.